Hi, my name is Benjamin Cabet. I'm a principal program manager in the Azure IoT product team. Uh, IoT as in Internet of Things, right? So all things connected, cars, connected factories, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. My team more specifically looks at empowering developers to build connected solutions. Something that's uh, actually interesting when you connect objects is you often want to make them as smart as possible because sometimes it's not necessarily convenient to have your devices, again, connected cars, connected factories, etc. You cannot rely on the fact that you're connected to the cloud, right? So you want to make your devices smart. And this is where you start using AI, machine learning. I actually realized, I've known for a few years now that although I'm a software engineer, AI, machine learning, I really didn't understand what it was. And so that's kind of sad, I guess. Uh, that was my first realization. But uh, second, I also realized that I probably wasn't alone in that situation. And then enter COVID, right? And so at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, as I guess many other people, I wanted to um, perfect my bread recipe. And I realized that maybe I could build a device that would use AI to figure out when would my sourdough starter be perfectly ripe and when would be the perfect time to bake my baguettes. And so I started experimenting with that. So surely and probably I could build some kind of AI model that would do just that. And so that's what I did. Rather than limiting myself actually to just the bread scenario, I ended up building a device that can smell virtually anything. At the hardware level, it starts with gas sensors. Gas sensors that are like literally off the shelf and pretty pretty affordable. Uh, the one I used can smell carbon monoxide, um, volatile organic compounds, and a bunch of other things. Uh, but is that enough? Um, probably not. So uh, I then um, used a, a developer kit, a, a microcontroller that can help me actually read and like acquire the data in my software and feed the sensor data into an AI model. But remember the AI model, that's where I was kind of kind of lost. So what, what was the next step? So in very simple terms, what I wanted to build and to establish was a correlation between the concentration of such and such gas in the air and some categories of smells, right? Coffee, whiskey, etc., etc. But in order to establish this correlation, I actually realized that just taking just the concentration of the gas as a single data point probably wouldn't be enough. After all, things like vodka and whiskey, they're all reasonably strong alcohol-wise. So I went first through a process of uh, extracting key characteristics, like if I capture a few seconds of gas sensor data, Let's look at the minimum, the maximum, the average of the concentration, my intuition that this would capture essentially the olfactory fingerprint of the smells. And then once I had captured those characteristics and once I had recorded enough um, training data, right, smelled coffee over and over again, then it was time to actually build a, a model. And again, not being an AI expert, I needed some help. And it turns out that there are some great tools out there. Like I used Edge Impulse, I could have used the Azure Machine Learning Studio. And uh, I was guided to essentially build a very simple neural network that could be trained to establish that this particular correlation between the characteristics of, of the gases and, and the expected labels, the expected smells. So I guess I built my first AI model, I trained it, I had really good results. And so from the Edge Impulse environment, I could easily generate software uh, that I could deploy back into my microcontroller and I had built an artificial nose. And I actually went the extra mile and printed, designed and, designed and printed a 3D enclosure for it and went the extra, extra mile by open sourcing the whole thing. Like this journey I went through of learning AI essentially with a weird excuse that was uh, baking bread and improving my bread baking skills, I realized that maybe others could, could learn from it. So I, everything is effectively on GitHub. So I shared the project uh, on GitHub and on social media and people really liked it to, to my surprise actually. And it went viral and developers from all around the world started to uh, to get excited about it and to, to, to build the project for themselves. 
And beyond that, customers actually were, were interested. Customers from various industries where, when you think about it, having some kind of smart nose is very relevant in the white good industries, like having a fridge that could smell when something goes bad within the fridge. All things linked to the food industries or cosmetics industry, where you want to either design smells or, or figure out when something's bad in your supply chain, things like that, right? And so that actually made me think that, yes, my nose, my device was smart, but it might be missing the um, IoT piece to it, right? And so the the device I used, the Wii or terminal, just like many similar devices out there, it's capable um, to, to connect to the internet, right? It has a Wi-Fi chip. So I connected it to the Azure IoT platform, right? Effectively, if you check out the GitHub repository, you end up with a IoT plug and play device, right? A nose that you can super easily connect to an IoT platform so that whenever the nose picks up something, it can flow into your IT environment, right? You can send an alert to a technician when there is a, um, a dangerous gas being detected in um, on the shop floor, things like that. So that's the project and that's my journey into AI, I guess. I want to leave you with uh, a few takeaways. First, don't be scared if just like me, you kind of you cannot seem to get started with AI. There are tons of resources out there to get started. Your hello world might be very different than someone else's, but like, try. If you want to get started with the artificial nose specifically, everything is open source, like I mentioned, that actually includes the 3D uh, enclosure as well. So you can always check out the GitHub repo for more information. If you're looking for some developer resources to get started, I've created a list of really relevant modules that I suggest you go through. When working on this project, I actually realized that there is tons of really good research around building similar devices, artificial noses and artificial organs almost. Check out the Microsoft Research website. There's really good projects there. I hope this project inspired you. I can't wait to see what similar projects you're going to build. Thank you. And until next time. We have to actually rethink the entire AI stack. What is reinforcement learning? Let's look at an interactive demo. All our code is now open source.